What's up, guys? And welcome back to Katie Castle Explores. And tonight we're exploring Westbury Mansion. Westbury Mansion was a 70-bedroom former care home and rehabilitation centre for the young disabled, the chronically sick and the physically disabled. Westbury Mansion is an 18th century stately home set in 94 acres of land based in the Hampshire Valleys. The estate was broken up in 1924 when Westbury House became a successful preparatory school and continued for many years until the 1980s when it was converted into Westbury Care Home. In early 2016, this mansion was investigated by CQC inspectors. After further investigation, the mansion was closed down due to staff neglecting their patients. Join us tonight as we explore Westbury Mansion and venture into the unknown. Alright guys, so tonight I'm here with Experiment with Age, Experiment with Jenny Evie and obviously moi. And we are meeting up with Dangerous Dave, The Secret Vault and Angel, The Urbex Pub. Um, I've decided to do my intro before we go because I think it's going to be really dark there. So obviously I want to give you guys a half decent intro. But yeah, I did this place a year ago and I'm taking these guys back tonight um, because in the last year I've seen so many reports it's completely changed. My first video of this place wasn't absolutely like 100%. It was kind of when I was like learning my techniques and stuff. So I'm going back to have a look. It was a 70 bedroom former care home and it was abandoned in 2016. Um, all of the further history will be linked below. So if you want to know it, go down there. And I think we're just going to head off. You ready guys? Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. All right guys, so we've just got into Westbury Mansion. Got the whole team, got Genevieve here. Hey. Got, oh, Davey's blinding me. Hey. Hello, there's Dave. Exploring with H. And I've got Secret Vault, Matt, and Urbex Puppy. Right, let's do this. So as you guys would have seen from my channel, I filmed this place about a year ago, but I've come back to do a revisit because this is one of my first biggest locations. Um, and I want to see how much has changed. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the first floor first and then do all of this bit last because this is by far my favorite bit, the kitchen and that, which I didn't film last time. So, oh my God, Dave, what are you doing? <laughs> You're a nutter. Oh, Dave's made himself comfortable. Just chilling. Should we just head off and you uh, you, you stay here? Keep watch, yeah? We'll leave the security dog. <laughs> right, let's see how much has changed. I think it's gonna be a hell of a, oh, it already is. Okay, already I'm seeing like a lot of changes. Oh, wow, I don't know where to start. Should we start on the left wing? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna head down the left wing first. Yeah, guys, when we go down here, don't shine your little lights on the right room, shine them on the left, because the right's the front, okay? Right, let's do the left wing first. That door's quite heavy, so be careful with that. All right, guys, so first room on the left wing. Oh, look at all this medication and paperwork. Oh, wow. Literally looks untouched. God, there's so much. The print is still there. Tablets as well. Wow. Yeah, loads of paperwork. Loads of it. Airbex puppy. Where's the Airbex puppy? What's she doing? She's in the moonwalk. <laughs> what have you found? I think you should host the show now. Security. No longer Katie Carlson Explores, but Angel Explores. What's Angel looking at? Oh, she's found a TV. Yeah. Good find, Angel. That was there actually a year ago, exactly where it was. Was it really? Yeah, exactly a year ago. He's still oh, left there. Move, yeah, this room's actually relatively the same. A few bits been smashed out. Yeah, that was there last time. It's weird being you know, a whole year later being back. It's really crazy, actually. Oh, the scooter's still here. And especially at night. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah, nighttime explore. This is actually good fun. Right, I just want to check which one's the front. Put the light down a second. I want to check which one's. Put the light down. Dave, put the light down. I can't see. Okay, so it's the left, sorry, it's the left side that I have, um... I'll quickly let those guys know. Guys? Yeah. Sorry, it's the, it's, the, it's the left frames that um have the neighbour. So that they was. Right. So point them that way. Came in from that yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Point them that way. Yeah, point them that way, not that way. Okay, Got it wrong. Right. Cool. <laughs> sorry. That's alright, no problem. There we are, so all the orthopaedic beds are still here. I'm just going to put the light down because the neighbour might see me. It's crazy, it's just left there, like, look at that. The orthopaedic bed could be just so up. Yeah. And yeah. Reused. And reused. Yeah. Nearly everything in here could just do, you know, look at that, even that. There little dust and you could sell there. that. Yeah. So many things in here, you could yeah, just. You've got all the, um... Yeah, it's got the hoist and everything. It's got the pull bar. Mm. It's got all the electrics. And do you know what? Steven, I actually think there. if you if you uh, put a fresh wire in that, that might actually still work, you know? Yeah, it's mind. not actually the worst condition. Yeah. I mean, no reason for not to, really, isn't No, no, it's, it's actually. Pretty, pretty good nick. Yeah. 
They're not cheap, are they? And this was the room, that window there, guys, is where I first entered when I first did this video. Yeah. So it's about a what? From from the ground floor, probably about a 12 foot climb. So mm. yeah, 17 was how I entered and they've now patched it, so. Well, there's a weird ladder that's like pushed up against it. Is that yeah. like to stop you? Something? Probably, yeah, probably, because so many people. Would that stop you? Yeah, look. That's weird, why would somebody put a ladder like Oh no, they've properly drilled it in. No, they've really drilled that in. Mm. But no, maybe just, I have no idea. Or maybe that's what previous Urbex has used to get in. You never know. Could have brought it, because it's like I said, people have brought ladders before, but yeah, look at that bit of equipment. Just left there. Still works. Still works, yeah. Yeah, okay. we're just saying all of this, like even that wardrobe behind you, it only needs a, a little wipe over and it's perfectly functional, you know? We need one of these because we were trying to get in a drain the other day and it was really needed like a winch. So we blew this in, right? And just like connected it and just pumped it up. And then just pulled the drain off. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a key. For the staff, what does it say? Staff toilet. Mm. Oh, there we are. It's not a toy. It's probably looking blessed. Mm. Yeah, we asked, that's room 17. Look at this, guys. This is fully stocked. Oh, wow. They've got all the, so they've got all the toilet seats for the disabled, wheelchairs, another hoist, bedpans, another bedpan, a wheelchair with them. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. The, I'm not going to film the toilet. That is disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to gag. <laughs> Hygiene bin. Yeah. Is there any hypodermics or anything? Oh, no, that's going to fall over. Better not. That is still here a year later. My God. Sir, it's um, the first thing I found at Westby Mansion. Oh, right. Sorry, it's a personal memoir. <laughs> <laughs> now, this has decayed massively. I don't know if I've got any shots of this from when I did this hallway. I might. If I do, I'm going to put it in the next bit. But if I don't, you're still watching this bit, so you're welcome. Um, <laughs> look at that decay. It's wood rot, you can see it's wood rot where it's bowed and it smells very damp. All the floors fallen through. Oh god. Look at oh wow. It's crazy what a year can do. So here's a medical supplies cupboard. Oh sorry. Sorry, I'm Shall I squeeze rest? squeeze out. Look at this, like fully stocked. You've got so much PPE. And after the COVID, honestly, you can't believe this sort of stuff actually still sat in here. Like, obviously it's years old and you probably want to use it. But like, look, there's just pill packets sat there. Needles in there, hypodermics. Got a, what's that? What is that machine? What is it? A uh, aspirator. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. An absolute ton of stuff, like on the floor. There we are. Ankle deep in just medical supplies. Half of them still in fresh packets. Covered here, which would have been all your bedding. There we are. And the, th the floor feels really weird. It feels a bit bubbled. Um, you right there, Jen? Yeah. Just getting an ass shot. Look at that. <laughs> Subscribe for that ass, guys. <laughs> oh, hello, Angel wants a bit of that. <laughs> Look behind you. Look at how fresh that one is. Like the bars and everything. There's like no corrosion or nothing. I'm just going to take this video off. I'm absolutely fucking melting. If you want to decoat, you can probably want to take it. Welcome to the stretch of it. <laughs> <laughs> This is my habit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're a premium person, you're watching it. It's your welcome. Patrons, if you want to see the strip. <laughs> Stay tuned in. Put <laughs> down there, put a pound in the air, pay pound in the air. You can see this. Oh, strap it on. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> There's some behind the scenes footage. Half past 11 at night. I'm watching Katie Coulson explode. Sorry about that. Just had a bit of a strip down. It's getting very hot in here, so. Whacking off all the hoodies. Room six. Look at room six. Pill packets and everything. Oh my God. And look, oh, needles, really loads good. of needles, like loads of needles in there. You'd have thought they'd have actually emptied these before they abandoned this. Like some sort of chemical factory. What, well, not chemical factory, what do you call them again? Um, medical people should have taken this. Can't think of the terminology. They disposed of, don't they? Yeah, burnt. yeah. Yeah, if you know the terminology, put it in the comments. I can't, I cannot remember for love nor money. Room seven, the ivy on the windows. That is amazing. Yeah, again, actually probably the freshest room so far. Doesn't even look abandoned. It's just uh, somebody's life here in a few steps. Like we're Somebody's life. Yeah, just make sure you do this. Clean his mouth, lock him in, and make sure you check his checklist. And then check him, he likes oh, to have a bath. Wow. And then at the end, it says like, you know, make sure if you're not sure, check his checklist. Oh, they wow, yeah. said that before, it's like written by a bloody illiterate sort of fool, this. My God. You know. 
that's crazy. Mm. There's another one here as well, for him as well. Summer Weekly Planner 2014. Read Graham's daily newspaper with him, activities and painting. Yeah, it's literally got his life on it. Look, everything he likes to do, or would have, would have liked to do, sorry. Mm. Updated June 2014. Wow, it's literally got his whole life, whatever, everything. Yeah, that is crazy. Just... Private personal information that probably shouldn't be left behind. Mm. Yeah. Well, the lady who actually owns this place is getting done. She's getting fined for absolute thousands because um, when she left this place, it was breach, breach confidentiality and paperwork. So she's been fined a lot. Mm. She's a doctor, but I cannot remember her name for love or money. Um, but yeah, she's in a lot of trouble, basically. Mm. You'll, you'll understand when I take you to the other rooms, you're going to see the amount of paperwork. It's a, it's a well, lot. She's probably still absolutely loaded because people who run these places, no matter how they end up treating people, it's like all the money comes to them. Yeah. And then people get treated like shit in these places. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Can you stay in here? Don't drink out of that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. All right, think about get out of there. Now you know why she recognises you. She's like, I drink out of this. This is my bowl. <laughs> when he doesn't give me enough water, I drink out of that. And then when I come, when this fool, when when this secret vault fool comes down in the morning, the bowl's empty, and I go to have a pee, and that bowl's empty too. This room smells awful, doesn't it? it smells like yeah, rat's pee. It smells, smells like very piss. Yeah. yeah. Not gonna lie, the higher you get up, it's gonna get really, really smelly, really, really bad. The one thing I do remember this place. And then this is the final room on the left wing. And that links into the garden centre, but I am not going to do that. I'm repeating not doing it because that light will bounce off of the garden centre and light it up. Like there's no tomorrow and the neighbours will definitely see. So I'm gonna give that a skip guys, because it is obviously night time. But this is the last room on the wing, on the bottom floor. But again, Urbex Crew 2020. And that mirror you can just just about make it out. All right, there we are. So that was the left wing. We'll now take you on the right. I just wonder what it is. Yeah, no, I haven't got a clue. I don't know whether there's any um, what? heroin in them. We can yeah. Just sell them. <laughs> what did Google say about it? It says, sold under the brand name <laughs> Kepra, amongst others. It's a medication used to treat epilepsy. Oh. And it's used for partial onset, myoclonic or tonic or clonic seizures. And it's taken either by mouth or an immediate uh, extended release formation or injection into a vein. Mm. Oh, wow. So that might explain this bin then, mm. being in her room. Well, it's I'm interested full of needles. Is, it, is it kind of like anything that can be, you can have dizziness, headache, sleep, behaviour changes. Mm. Oh, you are. Can it get you high? <laughs> in many instances, individuals who use Kepra and suffer untoward side effects report they feel high or drunk Right. Wow. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks. Um, We're going to have a great night. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, see you later. Right, so we're back to the original door. We're just going to cut through on the other side. And I believe this is the main hallway and all the, uh, in my eyes, the best bits. Except on the rooftop, that is my favourite. So, ah, oh, that is amazing how that is still so the same. That beautiful architect. And on the top of the ceiling as well, you'll see that beautiful design. Sadly, a lot of it's fallen. You can see over on the, uh, on the far side, just from obviously age. But it's probably one of the highest ceilings this, in this place. I, used, I loved this fireplace. First time I saw it, it just melted my heart. There's one in the main room as well. I really like, I really like that one. It's like a, the deer, wasn't it? The deer with the, um, the three Oh, birds. what, in the main room with the piano? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's wow. stunning. And then behind Jen is a bathroom. And that is, whoa, look at that. Yeah, last time that entire ceiling was intact. And it's fallen through, completely fallen through. Wow. The bath, wow. And the mirror actually hasn't suffered any damage. I'm surprised with the weight of that. Uh, yay. I'm surprised with the weight of that falling. Did you hear that? Dog. Stop it. Oh, yeah, she's not. I was going to say. <laughs> right, I'm walking into the main corridor. And these are the residents' paintings. So they've been there since 2016. They've not done too bad, actually. They're still sort of, um, look at that horse one. That was by a resident. Oh, I think that's really cool. Then we'll do on the left. Now look at that, there's so much equipment. A ton of, um, I don't know what they are, stands? Um, or some... What the patients eat on, isn't it? When they're in bed? No, not the tables, I mean above it. Those, those white and black frames. Oh. Maybe it's like a Zimmer, or I don't know. 
Oh, it's probably for um, medical stuff. Yeah, maybe. Oh no, no, it's the stand to the bottom of the table. Look, oh. it's just those upside down. There we are. There we are. So we're at 1A. For their family. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, it's literally a time capsule, this place. There's so much, like, was that, a re that might have been a resident, that was a resident, that was Westbury Mansion. You can see the building in the background. Yeah, really? That's yeah. Westbury Mansion, you see it in the back left of the photo. Caroline Jones again has worked with energy enthusiasm to complete the first year of the course. She's got quite a few little certificates and stuff and, and another one, practical skills, sorry, craft skills. Stage one, another stage one. Mm. Cookery and art, because she's, wow. Look how many um, certificates she's got on this bed. It's an awful lot. I've never been to a building with this much you know, memorabilia. Mm. So personal as well. I think this was a residence day out, you know. I've got some more as well. That painting is beautiful. Wow. And then we've got a little bathroom. A little ensuite. <laughs> if you touch that, that flies, oh my God, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's my biggest fear, butterflies. Look at this. Completely and utterly decayed. Just, those mirrors are quite funky. They're quite modern. No, the wiggly ones. There, I can see better now. Very cool. I'm going out every Monday about 10 a.m. to do weekly shopping, unless otherwise no vehicle drivers available. And then have a super day for the arranged. Oh, okay. Reminder for what does it say? I Irene. Irene. Yeah. There we are. I'm gonna make it right down to the, uh, the main hallway now, guys. There we are. This is the paperwork. Yep. For yep. For roles. There's actually pictures in here of actual um, staff, like injuries and stuff. Sorry, a patient injuries. Oh, really? And uh, a year ago, there was a lot more than this. So apparently, she's been trying to shift through it all. But doesn't really look like it to me. That's a hell of a lot of paperwork. This is people's lives just for you guys watching um, who may not have seen my first take of this building. Um, there's like financial details, like Santander banking risk assessments. There's a lot of really personal things in this in this pile in front of us. And if the wrong people get it, you never know what could happen, you know? Like, I'm not going to film it because it's on the right and I can see it, but it's a Santander letter. And uh, you never know if someone's going to find that and do something with it. Oh, wow. My God, so much has changed. Look at the decay. Is the piano still here? I hope so, because that was what... Yeah, the piano's still here. Yep, the piano is still there. And this time, it's open. I don't think it was last time, was it? It was flat. This wasn't open. I don't remember seeing this. Whoa. Yep, that was it before it went abandoned. And then ready for this. Wow. So, oh, I'll just fold that down. That's the room we stood in now. Whoa. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, this was a high class place, but yeah. it's, it's been allowed to go to absolute ruin. It's such a shame looking at that photo and then look at it now. Just Nothing but. Criminal. Yeah. It's like even the front of it, look, it's beautifully tended. And that staircase, that's the one with all the paperwork. The paperwork's there on the left side. And it's just turned into a an urbex playground. So there's all the tables and bits. And then this is the pink room. And I'll let you guys work it out for yourselves. Oh, it's significantly warmer here. And there we are. Still there. Beautiful fireplace. I found this really sad. Look. It works. Oh. That is impeccably clean. Yeah. 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 yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 That's really weird. This I found this quite sad. You know, the, the foundation for brain injuries for infants, and somebody's decided to rip the head off. I thought that was a little bit. Well, I, I give many. Yeah, they rip the head off. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh, is that marble? I believe. No, it's not. No, it's wood. That's no, wood. So there we are. There's the pink room with the piano. Oh, look at that hallway. It doesn't look freaky because look, we're, we've got the flashlights, but... And then on the left, guys, is the office. 
the main reception. There we are, so that's the hatch and the entrance just down that corridor. No, that window has not. That is surprising. No, that is fresh. No. And there's yet again a load of paperwork, every, literally everywhere. Wow. So many personal documents. I do worry if the wrong people find this, you know. Yeah, there's more photos. What was that for? Care awards. Oh, how lovely. And then you've got a, is that a safe? That is a safe, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody's folded over the top. There's probably nothing in it. Um, hang on. Yeah, no, it's empty. But yeah, that's, that's the main reception and that's the uh, the oak staircase that uh, you guys would have seen in the, in the pamphlet. Right, and this is my favorite. So this was the main entertainment room. As you can see, you've got the pool table. It's still there. Yeah, it's still there, but the only difference is the cloth. It's been all ripped off, and obviously from the ceiling where bits have fallen down, it's, you know. The vending machine's still there. It is, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> it's taken a bit of a battering, though, since I last saw it. And all of these books, and there are first editions in these cases. I'm not a massive book person. I don't really know much about them, but I do know they are first editions. Not all of them, just a couple. Oh, look at the fireplace behind you. Yeah, again, stunning. Actually, I think that might be exactly the same as one of the other ones, isn't it? It's the same design, yeah, looks more or less. And that's the gents toilets in there. I didn't go in there last time, I don't think. Can't remember going this way. Yeah, no, it's just, just an empty room. Not really much to look at. Come on, bub. Better English. That was this? Yeah, better English. Tower of London. Running, jumping, and throwing. Oh, there's some old bow. Yeah, pineapple and raspberry. Absolute best flavors in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if any of you lot watching want to ever take me out for a drink, you know what to get me now. That reindeer is pretty much travel around this entire building. Is it? Yeah. Just come over here to see what this is. I don't remember that being there, you know. Yeah. What is it? Oh. I don't remember that. Um, Oh, like oh, it's a kitchenette. Yeah, because yeah, it's a dining room. No, I've never actually peeked around this corner. Yeah, because this is a dining room, an entertainment room. Yeah, no, I've actually never peeked this side. Wow. Well, there's a lift thing that must go down to the basement. Yes, yes, to the kitchen. Wait, to the kitchen. It is absolutely the best part of this place. For me, anyway, obviously, probably because I'm a chef. But, you know, it's pretty cool. It's got balls in it as well, like, you know, like those soft balls, oh, yeah. like playpen balls. So, yeah, yeah. looks a bit like, like a JJ style match. Yeah. <laughs> For all I like at the same oh, match. Wow. I didn't notice some of that detail though. Oh, well, look. Right, what do you call these again? They're not, it's not called a bayonet, is it? What's the other word for it? Oh, what's the name of it? I should know this. <laughs> it's my job to know this. <laughs> Cannot remember. Oh, my chef pals who are watching this are going to kick me when they next see me. <laughs> hot plate? Yeah, it's a hot plate. It's got an actual terminology, but never mind. Isn't this place the coolest? It's a cool place. It's amazing, isn't it? See, when we come here, when we're waiting, we, we missed this bit somehow. Really? Know. I don't know how oh, we missed this. To be honest, it's, well, it's because it's obviously a 70 bedroom former care home. Plus all the additional, it's a really big building. So yeah. I'm not surprised you missed it to be fair. Well, it was so much. just us two, me and Jenny being here, and it was so late that day. Yeah. And we were, we were up and we were mainly upstairs, and we got to a point where yeah. it was really bad. Yeah. And we were like, nah, you have to skip the rest. Of yeah. It. No, it's just, it's just fully stopped. There's so much to look at. And like I was saying earlier to Matt, it's literally a time capsule. Mm. And you can feel the memories, you know. Yeah, Most yeah. places you go, and it's just a shell. But this has got a lot of character got to it. To it yeah. It's just a shame that when I came here a year ago, about actually watching my video to now, how badly it's been damaged. It's been damaged over really, really bad. Some of this is natural. So obviously the floor. This is obviously natural decay looking up. Yeah. But obviously stuff like the cloth being ripped off the table and the vending machine being completely smashed. Mm. That is not natural. So no, definitely it's not. a shame that some people can't do the airbags and just do the airbagsing. But yeah, it is a shame. Pose. <laughs> I love the Turn wink. <laughs> subscribe now. No, I don't care if you don't subscribe. Mm -hmm. I do. Subscribe now. <laughs> or what? <laughs> I don't know. It's in my phone, Explore the cave and you'll be fine. 
Just a wink. I wouldn't say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly insulted, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they think. Oh, yes, sorry. In the sorry. comments, hashtag get rid of Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm filming, I'm a bloke, I can't do two things at once, alright? Oh, that's true. Well, I just wasn't listening to you. <laughs> typical man yeah. thing. Yeah, typical man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just switch off. <laughs> what? <laughs> Now you settle you by now. Right, guys, so we're going to head up the stairs now, and then go up to the. Oh, what floor are you on? Well, this is technically the ground floor, the one that we're on now, because obviously we've come up with a basement area. So yeah, we're going up to level one. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that mirror, and it is still there. It's there fresh. Is. There she is. That would have cost an absolute arm and a leg. I'd like to know well, who, who put that up there. Credit to them. It's got the old fashioned specs in it, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And the chandelier as well. That, that mirror probably would. Stunning. Absolutely. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So please don't do anything stupid to it. Mm. We didn't get near it. Mm. It's probably too high. Hello, Baba. You're doing so well. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, you can't. Okay, so I'm not gonna film the floor, but Dave's found a naughty magazine. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> oh wow, I don't even want like oh Oh my goodness, okay. Ew. So this is obviously a theme. There we are. Little desk. Look at the corridor. So much has changed. Way. Loving it though. What's in there? I can't remember that room again. Oh, this is the one with all the toys in it, I think. Was it? Was it? No, not this. Oh, there's another magazine. My God. These were definitely 1,000% not up here. I did not see those last time. One of these rooms, there's a couple of little toys and bits in. There's mushrooms growing on one of these walls as well. It's this one, I believe. Yeah, look at all the all of the like um, fungus on the wall. It's, it's, oh, it's actually really like weird, like fluffy. Doesn't look it on camera, but it's really fluffy, but also very sticky. You can Ooh, see that sort of sticky. It. Yeah, yeah, it hits you, really, really hits you like a... Oh, wow. This place is so... Look at the wallpaper. God, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. And those curtains, the seat, there's just so much to look at. This is literally Urbex paradise. Lay more books, cabinets. Oh, <laughs> just tripped what? over. Sorry, just tripped over, sorry. Um, fireplace and look at all the fresh shirts at the back. In the drain, is it actually? I wouldn't touch it because mm. it could be teens being silly. Look at all the shoes as well, the gent shoes. And all of his personal belongings, like fresh shirts. They actually look so crisp and like they've just been done. That is mental. Yeah. Little microwave. Not been touched. No. Even the plate, look, it looks spotless. It's so weird. Because half this place gives, well, absolutely 1000% abandoned vibes and some of it just looks so untouched by the world. And then that door doesn't open. I specifically remember that, but you can get around to it the other side. So I will do that. Uh, pot plant, all the equipment again. This is room 34. Oh, hang on. Was that the doctor who, um, who owned this place? I'm not sure. I might Google that. Mm. Yeah, mm. I'm gonna have to Google that. Right, so now we're heading over to the right of the mansion. Oh, there she is. What's she looking at? Angel, come here. Let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, they do say that the animals can see things we can't. When I last came here, I heard a cat meowing in this bit and I couldn't find it. No, I did. Broke my heart, couldn't find it. Oh, look, it's a little, little decorative piece, an old fashioned sewing machine. Matt, do you want a drink? I'm popping the kettle on. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys, there's a little kitchenette in here. Loads of plates. These cookers are fantastic. It's not a microwave, it's like a, a mini cooker. They are great. Not, I don't really think much has changed in here. Just a lot more decay. And then, wow, goodbye Westbury. South, South Coast Urbex, whoa. Nice one. <laughs> Still there. Wow. Yeah, that balcony's lush. Wow. Is that 
the back field, isn't it? I think so, I think. <laughs> You're right there, Dave? Yeah, I'm good. Getting Just fit. Getting fit nice one. Yeah. yeah, links to the back field. There we are, guys, where we cut through. Let's get in here. Angel, no. Angel, no. No, not out there. Yeah. No, no, no. Not too bad. No, no, Angel, Angel. I don't want to go in that way because I'm really worried she's going to jump in front of me. Alright, darling. I'm just looking at all this moment Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, the higher we get, the worse it's going to get. I'm just warning you. This room, I remember there was a desk here. And we were looking at like the needles and stuff that are on it. So that's changed. The graffiti's all faded quite quite quickly, actually. I think there was cuddly toys in this one as well. I don't, I can't remember like vividly, but at the bathroom. All right, guys, we're going up to the next floor now. Second floor. Oh, very nice. And I think this might be the top floor because it's going to get right. This floor, I don't know if you can see on camera, it's very, very spongy and wet. So we need to go full court, really careful. Stinks of pee in the end, Yeah, that's nasty. Oh, no. Yeah, mm. that's not great, is it? Got a little, um, another little bedroom, number 49. There's room 47. Wow. It's all just falling down. Okay, yeah. It's, yeah, stay to the left, stay to the left. There's room, what room's that? 46. Guys, I'm giving that a skip purely for the fact you can see that is pretty dodgy. Another little kind of kitcheny thing. Room 41, empty. And the floor, it's actually, wow, there's actual grass growing on the floor. Look, yeah, grass is just coming in, that's so cool. And that, oh, I remember that but I didn't walk over to it because it's this floor. Um, it's just, it looks like, God, it looks like AstroTurf, there's so much of it. And that chest just every time gets me. It's absolutely incredibly awesome. Ooh. Go careful. That floor will be wet because that's why stuff is growing on it. So it's getting moisture from somewhere to keep growing. Yeah, it's a vinyl. Trust me, I won't go any closer. Mm -hmm. that, that floor looks just sketchy. But yeah, no, really nice vinyl, really, really nice. And that, is the rooftop but i believe there is another staircase there is that staircase will lead us up to the roof properly that one's just like a little like a mini there we are don't know if you can see hang on can't focus it there we are so you can just see that's like a little side slip of it but that's the main roof i'll take you up there in a minute this is the lift shaft oh okay. Ooh, look at that spider she's a big one don't even fit my camera down there yeah there we are there's the lift shaft guys Yeah, I told you, we are high. Can you imagine falling for the roof? <laughs> Would be pretty. So this is the second floor, but it depends how you count floors. I normally count the ground floor as the first floor, but each your own. Oh, I remember this floor was a bit sketchy, wasn't it? There's like a little office-y thing with loads of little midges. Oh, you can see them all. Ooh, no, oh, oh, wow, I see. Oh, oh, look at the ceiling. What? All the black dots oh, are bugs, oh all God. of them. Oh, they're everywhere, get them out. Ooh, ooh. Don't you have a light? Oh my God. <laughs> this ceiling's so low. It's designed for hobbits. Angel, remain. Remain. A generator, maybe? Something along those lines. Right, Urbex puppy. Where's daddy? Where's daddy? There he is. Motor for the lift. Yeah, because if you look down there, you've got the Oh, cables. yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, big pardon, yeah. Not a generator for the lift. Oh, look at Angel, bless her. Mm. Right, darling. No, she's done great. Mm -hmm. And up there is the rooftop. So I'm going to get up there. Yeah, this is roof. Yeah. Rooftop. There's a set of ladders there. Yeah, just pitch black. Look at that. What even is the time? It's got to be gone midnight. Yeah, it's 12 30. There we are, 12 30 at night. We're still on Westbury Mansion rooftop. Bless. <laughs> Thanks for bringing us. No problem. It is an awesome place. All right, guys, we're just on the rooftop. We're gonna head back down now and go to the, like, the kitchen and the basement area. You've got to be careful of these because of these nails. You don't want to get that in the forehead. Right? Just my luck, I'm gonna do it now, so. Experience 
Space Explorer 101. <laughs> That's it. I didn't think I'd be on a rooftop at half twelve at night. <laughs> like this. What is my life coming to? Makes you going to fall down the stairs, isn't it? I can get my leg over. My phone's in my pocket so it won't allow me to bend my leg. <laughs> You good? Easy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you made that look so simple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, most normal people would just climb through, but no, not me. I'm rolling. <laughs> Freaking rolling. Oh, dear. Right, guys, so we are coming down the building to a second little, like, um, side staircase, really. Got off her baby. She's so tired, bless her. She's doing well. Oh, it smells well dodgy. Yeah, guys, Dave is no longer filming because unfortunately my camera is completely full on the other phone. So that just shows how much editing and content I have. And oh, there's bugs alive in it. Ew. The, the, no, I'm going to gag. The milk's curdled. The milk's curdled. That's going to make me gag. No. This is the most horrific smell I think I've actually come across in, in years. I need to, sorry, that's going to make my stomach bounce. So on the right, what have we got in here? Oh, nice! Oh, like a little pin board. And... Yeah, it's nice. A little load of artwork and stuff. Oil paints. Look at that Hoover. Wow. Now oh, that is old. It's a bra. Oh, hello. Aisha? I don't know. I don't know if black's your colour, but. I'm thinking more of a sexy pink, but yeah. might look good, on you? Pink might look good. <laughs> and then another nice. room, literally, absolutely bye. kitted. Wow. Bye bye. Yeah, somebody's had a I'm just gonna swap with you. Bean bag or something. <laughs> no, I know what this is. It's the other moose. You know those oh. moose cuddly toys? There was two of them, so I think oh, it might be the moose. <laughs> Probably gonna find his little outer skin soon. Look at this room. Wow, loving it. Hello. Little kitchen. Oh. oh. Oh, look at him go. Yeah, Dave. Oh, look at those muscles, yeah, Asia. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's it. Oh, it. Oh, feel the burn. <laughs> if you fall, I'm going to absolutely cry. Don't break that light or I'll break your neck. <laughs> this is going to go horribly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, again, loads of bits and pieces. Those cups are beautiful. Look at that, like, effect. Really, really precious, yeah. Load of smashed plates and an ensuite. There yeah, we are, ensuite. I think we were in this room earlier on. Yeah, this is the staircase she tried to run down. I'm Come just trying on. to find that, that office room with the perfect carpet. Good girl. <laughs> Cannot remember, Dave. All right, guys, so we're going to head down to the basement and do the last layer. Let's go. Right, so here's the maintenance workshop. Absolutely stacked with tools and fans, chairs, tools. Yeah. My God, that's so cool. Up this way is my absolute favorite part of the building. Not the boiler room, but there is the boiler room. Yeah, my favorite part, which is the kitchen. Oh my God, guys, we're near the kitchen. Are you ready for this, Dave? Are you ready for this? Absolutely the best part. Oh my God. Here it is. Look at this. It's absolutely fully kitted. And it stinks incredibly bad. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, look. There's like playpen balls all over the floor. I tell you what, this is every chef's dream. Obviously, if it wasn't in this state, obviously, but. The amount of surface space. This is the sort of place, though, they'd have enough, like, space to do, like, separate stations. So, like, you'd have enough cooks to, obviously, for 70 residents, have a section for maybe, like, pastries and bits and pieces, maybe, like, a meat section or a prep section for, like, veg. And then even the sinks, look at the size of those. Because the kitchens I've worked in, they've been... They, I'll tell you what, actually, one of mine was bigger than this, quite a bit bigger than this, but... um. This one's got a lot more character in the sense it's all one straight set. Because one of mine was a bit, bit all over the place, but no, it's awesome. Look at these cans as well. I'll tell you what, these actually are a lot harder to move than you think. That's not going to, obviously, because it's, it's rust and abandoned, but in general. You reckon? 
This is weird. You notice this? Never Stairs. been on this bit. Stairs. Stairs. Go through there. What, what the hell? These stairs go. Oh, I've just hit my you? head out. These stairs actually go. That goes That's further up. That's weird. It. it goes up and around. Do you know, I'm almost curious as to why that's been blocked yeah it yes, goes up it's been purposely blocked and somebody's tried to get in there no that's dodgy how was that the stairs go up yeah. here and then they Somewhere cut what's above, above us it was it was the entertainment room was it it was the pool room because the, the the lift thingy remember the food counter why is it blocked off maybe because they didn't want a stairway down what's this way there? do you know that's really odd and there's no there's literally no signs of it no Something Very balanced. unique. Look at these hobs. Twelve beautiful babies to cook on. My God. Oh. This is awesome. Down the left would have been where the delivery would have came in. Dry store would have been there. You've got your two fridges. There we are. There's a raw. Raw fridge, cook fridge for meats. And then behind us, probably veg prep. It looks like play zone, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, we get these kids crushed. They get all these like bars and stuff to like mm. keep the balls in it. <laughs> Oh, that's vile. Yeah, still got oil in it. That is absolutely. Can you lift that? Will it lift? Oh, that is. Yeah, that is. I get the feeling it became really paranoid about. That's awful. Who's the chips? <laughs> I'll have some chippies. Go on, Chef Dave. There's some hovis behind you and a bit of salt. So do some salty toast. <laughs> <laughs> Salty toast. Mm, delicious. This place is offering spaghetti hoops. Or baked beans. Oh, we've got some bread here and some salt, so we could actually do ourselves beans on toast, couldn't we? Yeah, beans on toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that is the kitchen, and we're going to head down to the last few rooms, which is hy hydrotherapy. And yeah, uh, in here, darling, mm, occupational yeah. therapy. It's not really a great deal to sort of look at in here. It's a lot of junk and stuff, but a oh, ton of bit, books. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? It's all rubble. Oh, they've left pens for us to order it. I was gonna say. I was gonna say, there we are. Chuck all the names on there. There we are. Katie Colson explores on YouTube. Added to the list. I think you guys should as well. Mark, no, mark your territory. And this is, guys, for my viewers watching, this is not aggravated trespassing. This is civil because it's on paper. So it could be disposed. If we were spray painting, that would be different. Or writing it on the wall. Or writing it on the wall like these guys have done. And that's aggravated trespassing. This is nice and civil. Just got like, two last rooms and then we're all done, guys. So it must be knackered. It's coming on like one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock. It's gotta be somewhere around that margin. The squishy floor, don't tell them about it. I wanna see their reactions when they walk across it. Whilst well, I'm waiting for those guys. So yeah, this was like, um, I believe it was like a, I don't know, an office maybe for like all the medical write-ups. That would have probably been some sort of sauna around the, around the corner there. So Matt's heading to the uh, therapy pool. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> Everyone does it. Ready, catching the reactions. <laughs> and this is totally true. There we are. The viewers, there we are. I'm just saying to the viewers, everyone that does that, they all go, ooh, and I've caught all of you doing it. <laughs> it's because it just takes you by surprise. It, it looks like the floor, obviously, like, and then it just goes really squishy. Oh, that's well crazy. Oh, fun. What is this? I love it. Oh my God, I'm, in, I'm living for this. Maybe that's what it is. It's like bubble. With their exercise so they could walk on one spot, maybe. I have no idea, but this is like bubble wrap, but it doesn't pop. Oh, living for it. And then this is the uh, the therapy pool. Oh, what are you doing? Are you mad? Oh, that's, that, that's that bit, yeah. Are you mad? Jesus. Go careful, darling. And then, yeah, this is the therapy pool. So other than that, guys, I think that is Westbury Mansion. The revisit one year later. Explore. Alright guys, so we've just got out of Westbury Mansion and now we're lighting the place up like Blackpool Illumina eh, Illuminations because it doesn't matter if we get caught. They are bulls. Yes, they are. Um, shite springs to mind. Angel, no, there's a ditch. Angel, Angel, shit, she's fallen. Shit. Angel. Fucking hell. Oh my god, Angel, come here, come here. Angel. Oh bless her, she lost her foot in this, she's fine. She fell off the edge of it. Oh my god. Dog giving me a heart attack. Yeah, they're bulls, aren't they? Hmm. Guys, they're bulls. Yeah, she fell off this edge bit. She didn't see it, bless her. Lost Angel. her footing. Thank God she's all right. What was that noise? Huh? I don't know how to weird noise. What the fuck was that noise on the right? 
I don't know, I had something as well. Yeah. But right, anyway guys, so that was Westbury Mansion. The mansion? There it is. Oh, look at that. Guys, flashlights that way. That's the one, look at that. Best X forever. All right, guys, that was Westbury Mansion. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you probably noticed we're in the same place. It's because I did my intro and my outro before I went. So <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. All of these guys links will be down below. So please go and check them out. And if you haven't already, turn the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned and I'll catch up with you shortly. Bye.